Greetings, I'm Kathy Green with Christian News and Interviews. I have a really disgusting video that I'm about to show you out of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, two Asian individuals were in their store, unarmed, and in walks a woman of color, a black woman, big husky woman, very aggressive. She tried to buy some beauty supply products. The products were 11 bucks. Her card declined. There was a back and forth. They explained to her that they couldn't give her the products for free. She exploded and attacked both of these people. First of all, the people were, uh, were uh, older, older people. So they weren't able to protect themselves. And I would go as far as to say that we're in a world now where if you are in a convenience store, you need to be armed. <laughs> yes, you need to be armed. But the long and the short of it is, you know, over the past few months, Asian people have had emergency legislation because they're saying that they're being attacked for being Asian. And um, it was insinuated as well as just people come right out and saying that uh, many of these attacks are at the hands of black people. And um, I, along with a lot of other black people were saying, why are we getting the blame for this? You know, we are seeing some of these video attacks and most of these people who are attacking Asians are not black. But of course, black people always, you know, end up with the worst end of the stick. And so here she comes. And she attacks these two Asian people. Two fragile people. They look like they're in their 70s or maybe, you know, late 70s. I mean, come on. It makes the entire, you know, when one black person does something, it just reflects on all of us, even though most black people are normal. But society and media has it looking as though black people, as a rule, of these predators, these big husky, uh, and that the black women are these masculine, uh, nasty, uh, you know, ugh. It just makes us all look bad. And it is so unfortunate. So look at the video below. Um, and if you've seen this woman, those of you who live in Ohio, if you've seen this woman, please call the police. She needs to be arrested ASAP because she's dangerous. She attacked this couple, but I believe she would have attacked them had they been elderly black people. I believe she would have attacked them had they been elderly white people. I believe she would have attacked them had they been elderly people of Indian descent. This is just a sick woman. Check it out and comment below. Okay, please look closely at your screen. Cleveland police are trying to find this woman. She was involved in an assault and vandalism at a beauty supply store, and she was caught on camera brutally attacking those owners. News 5's Jesse Schultz sat down with the son of this couple tonight. Jesse, he says he won't be able to sleep until the woman who attacked his parents is behind bars. Yeah, their son did provide News 5 with cell phone and surveillance video of that attack, but I do have to warn you, it is hard to watch. All I'm trying to do is get my items. What started as a disagreement Friday evening inside Chic Beauty Supply on Lorraine Road? It's not cleared. We cannot give you anything because it's not cleared. Ended violently for David Joe's parents. He says a customer came in and could not pay for the item she wanted. It was one of those prepaid debit cards and she put the pin numbers in and it was declined and uh, she was not happy. Just give me my that's all I'm asking. I'm not broke. You didn't charge anything. This is an empty card. His mother then tells his father behind the counter to call the police, and the woman suddenly attacks the two. Call the police. Watching them be so helpless and 
you know, beaten like that so brutally was, uh, was tough to watch. This surveillance video also caught the attack on camera. The video shows the woman lunge at Joe's father, and when his mother stepped in, she started beating and dragging her, knocking her unconscious. I knew what I was watching, but I couldn't believe what I was watching. After about a minute, the woman leaves the store. Just because they're so weak and helpless, she decided it'd be okay to attack them, which is, uh, is unbelievable to me. And uh, over $11 purchase. Joe says his parents, both in their 60s, were left bloodied and bruised. They're banged up pretty bad. He says they're proud people who keep to themselves. Monday, they even went back to work to clean up the store. All they want to do is, again, you know, work hard and make it here as any, you know, immigrants do when they come in and try to make a better life for themselves and for their children. But as their child, he wants to take care of them. And he says he can't do that if this woman is still out there. I need to find this person and make sure that she's held accountable for, you know, the damage she's caused. Now, Joe says he is not sure why that woman chose to attack his parents, but if you know anything about her identity, you're asked to call Cleveland police. Reporting live in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5.